Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Black Log Shop. Um, we're sitting here again today at the desk of, what I call the desk of, Shotgun Leather Cult, which is culture, not a cult as such. Anyways, this is part five of uh, doing the Harley Davidson Fender bib that I'm doing for a friend of mine. Uh, yesterday we put on some uh, USMC black leather dye. We did the edges with edge coat. Now today um, I thought about using Resoline. Resoline is a protective acrylic finish for leather. Uh, it says so right on the bottle. I'm just reading it right off. <laughs> Anyways, um, it, it protects from the elements, but I think I might do that later. I uh, I want to use Super Sheen because I want this to be nice and shiny kind of thing. So you just give it a shake. Don't have to shake it too much. Just give it a shake. And then you use your dauber to uh, to apply it. You could also use Neat's Foot Oil Compound. Um, let's see. Description. Neat's Foot Oil is a combination of Neat's Foot and other beneficial natural and synthetic oils for all smooth leather, 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 yeah, Newfoundlander, listen to me, leather, uh, articles subjected to rugged use, including ball gloves, including ball gloves. When applied before exposure, it protects against the stiffening effect of repeated wetting and drying cycles. Needs foot oil helps restore dried out leather. So yeah, this is, you could put this on, like if this was going to be used and there was a saddlebag going to be going over it and going to be chafing or anything like that and could damage the leather, you could use this stuff to uh, to protect it. But in this instance, or in this case, we don't need to use that. So we're going to apply... Oh, shoot There we go. We're going to apply... Oh my goodness. Super Sheen. Other things you could do on your leather to protect it is use boot wax. I use this a lot, as you can see. And you could also use mink oil. This is this waterproofs and conditions all smooth leather and vinyl. Snowproof mink oil paste. This stuff is really good too. Apply generously with a clean cloth and work into leather. Allow a few minutes for absorption and wipe off excess. May darken some leathers. Test on small area first. Made in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This stuff is good stuff. I like this stuff. I'm just going to stir that around and get out some of the bubbles there because it is bubbly. It don't have like a white film, but it will dry clear. And we just put one coat on and then we let it dry. And then we, if I need, I can put on another coat. I was going to make a video of me applying the uh, the um, the last step, really, which would be gluing the felt on the back of this piece, but I don't really think I need to do a video on that. It would be a short video, anyways. Um, 
that. It just would be a short video. I don't think it's necessary. Really? Because really it's time consuming and it's uh, painstaking, I guess you call it. It's enough to drive you. <laughs> But anyway, this video is more or less to give you a sense of how to make a fender bib. And I think you got the gist of that so far. I think you do, don't you? Or do you? You're going to get some bubbles in this, but try to get them out. Suppose you got to get a hair dryer and put it on the cool setting or something like that to just blow the bubbles out. You're going to get bubbles because while well, you're working it into different crevices and random lettering and stuff like that, right? The bubbles are going out of it nicely, actually. I won't need a hair dryer. I won't anyway. Now, what I am noticing, though, is that it's taking some of the uh, dye right out of the edge where the where the edge meets the tan coat or the, the edge coat. I'm sorry. I can I can start to see the leather, the natural color of the leather. Oh, rubbing my eye. So that's interesting. I've never had that before. I wonder what's going on there. Can you see that there? Let me zoom in. this for you see that right there there hmm. kind of makes it look uh antique -y. it's like it's like it's been there forever Kind of cool, actually. I like it. I want to do all the edges just to see. Well, the more you rub, 
the more it takes away, which is kind of cool. I was giving it a nice rustic antique look like it's been there forever. I like it. Gives it a worn look. Like if it were a jacket, it'll look, give you that worn, 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 W R N, worn look. Felt like I had to spell that because it sounded like I didn't say it right. <laughs> Zoom out there for you. Is that too far? Let's go in there. Now, I am going to take my trusty little rag here and wipe off some of this excess because there's some dauber fibers coming into it. It looks really neat. Why it's doing that, I have no idea, but it looks pretty cool. And it's not all over the place either. It's like it's a little bit there, there's a little bit there, around the edge and there, and then a little bit over here. So it look, kind of kind of looks like like a worn, look, worn, worn, worn. My God, I can't say that word today. I want to. I want to. I want to say it like it's W A R R E N. R R. <laughs> Warren. Worn look. Just giving it a worn look. English is my second language. I'm from Newfoundland, so in Newfoundland there's apparently 365 different dialects. All English of course but there's like Scottish accent and English accent Irish accent Portuguese Norwegian like it's all yeah we're a mixed breed we're a mixed bunch or I guess you say not a mixed breed mixed bunch now I'm gonna do in around there one more time I know I said I'm giving this one coat but this is kind of one coat for me I just want to make sure that everything is covered and I know I'll get that with the second coat anyways, but I just want to, I just want to make sure. Am I hitting your way? Let me move this down the table a bit. Let me turn it around, actually. There, is that better for you? Let me zoom in there a bit. There we go. How you doing now? Oops, sorry, jiggly jiggly. Sorry.
There we go. Blow out those bubbles. Get rid of them. There we have it. Just want to get rid of whatever excess is on my dauber. I'll we'll just set her up and leave her for today. So that means that this is going to be a short video. Got my laptop sitting in front of me this morning because I've been watching some YouTube videos. YouTube videos on different different leather techniques and best products to use and stuff like that. Because like I said, I'm not I'm not doing this every day, so sometimes I forget what products are for what. <laughs> I don't want to put the wrong product on. Wouldn't care really if it was my own, but it's for somebody else, so. And it's my name that's on it. Shotgun leather. Shotgun Leather Cult, Shotgun Leather Culture. You can find it on Facebook there, Shotgun Leather Cult. See what other things I've done. There. So that was the Super Sheen. I'm just going to let that dry now. That kind of looks like it uh, needs a better of overlap, don't it?
There, now we'll let that dry. That's gonna look cool, I think. Fender bibs kind of remind me of like a skateboard or something. Anyway, I'm just gonna put that up here out of the way so the dog don't eat it again. So when that uh, super sheen is all dry, it should be see that gloss right there. See how glossy that is? That's how that should turn out. Now there's only one coat on this. Now the dog ate this, of course. If you follow along the other videos, you know the dog ate it. So uh, I'm just going to keep one coat of this on there, and I'm going to put a coat of uh, boot wax on. This stuff is super sticky, but it is so good. It, um, look at that, even outside the rag, it's still, like, not dried out or nothing. It's, uh, it's, it's really good. You just get a gop on your rag, and this will protect it against the elements. And I put boot wax on a lot of my, uh, a lot of my projects. Takes a bit to work it in. If it wasn't in a tin case, I'd probably almost warm it up in a in the microwave or something. Could take it down and put it on the stove for a minute, I guess. I know what to do with it. One second, I'll be right back. I'm gonna take the old hair dryer to excuse me my bald head in your in the screen sorry Right now.
Sorry for the noise. get it all in there around everything and all the crevices all around the letters I'm just going to uh, move that there, set that right there. It's sticky on the hands, but uh, when it dries, it, like it, once you put heat to it, it it doesn't. It's not as it's not as sticky. Maybe a little. It's not quite dry. It's not a really hot air dryer. But it'll do the job. See how nice that spreads now.
And I just rub it down to get off some of the excess because, well, you don't need all that gobbly goop on there. And then... My hands are a little bit tacky, but need no more, no more sticky. Right, my hands are tacky, so I get to lift it, but the back of my hand is not. And so therefore, it did its job real good, real good. So yeah, now we got a nice sheen to it. Look at that. Amazing! 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 And there! That's about it for that. And that's how you do the... So, on the other one, we put the Super Sheen on there to give it a shine. And this one had a code on it one or two coats i can't remember i think it was two coats of sheen that i put super sheen that i put on there and then i just did the good old otter wax portland made in portland oregon leather care boot wax all natural beeswax and lanoline leather sealant two ounce can apply only on clean dry leather apply thick even coat with a dry cloth pay, play, sorry pay close attention to toe heel and seams that's if you're putting it on boot wax because well it is boot wax or if you're putting it on boots because it is boot wax allow wax to absorb overnight or until dry remove excess wax with a dry cloth always test on a small inconspicuous area for use temporary darkening may occur for long lasting protection we recommend frequent and liberal application so if you know that you haven't applied this to your fender bib in a while and tomorrow it's going to rain, put some boot wax on there today or yesterday. Actually, it'd be a lot better. Put it on there yesterday. If you expect rain two days from now, put it on today and let it set up. And like I said, like I use the hair dryer to get it dry. And now, man, and it's got a, it's, it still smells like leather. It don't smell like the beeswax or nothing. It just, uh, it's a good product. I stand by it. It's awesome. So I'm going to use that on my bike. And my seat will just cover that. So that's good. Dang old dog. You know what he's like. He'll eat anything. So anyways, that's my video for today. And uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me, I don't have many subscribers. So please subscribe so I get more subscribers and uh, get, my, get my videos out there a little bit more. And uh, let me see. Ring that bell too or... Click the bell so that you get more notifications. That's what I was going for. Yeah, click the bell so that you get notifications on other videos that I put out. 
they're not all about leather sometimes they're about woodworking sometimes they're just me in the backyard working on stuff i could be working on the harley later on today and i'll do a video of it who knows it's I call it the, the Black Dog Workshop wood, wood crafting or woodworking channel, but it's everything, man. I, I don't do woodworking every day, especially with today's prices. Oh, my God. You can't. You can't do it. You can't do it. So that's my video for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Uh, perhaps once I get the Harley out of the trailer... I'll do a little video on how to apply this because I still got to punch holes. I got the hole there, but I got to punch holes for the two up front. And um, we'll see how it looks on the Harley. It should go on the fender kind of like that, which is a gradual bend. Anyways, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.